everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So it's been a few hours since I recorded my last episode, it's still uh, March 24th, uh, Sunday. Um, I wanted to come back in because there was so much stuff going on, uh, so many Jade Falcon worlds that had been uh, flipped from Wolf. So I came back and it looks like it's still pretty much the same, this is still controlled by Wolf. Uh, we still, Jade Falcon still holds a bunch of worlds here, we actually took this world over. Um, still hanging on, barely. Uh, but the planet that I was on has uh, been 100% wolf now. But uh, Falcon's uh, hanging on over here too. So we're going to jump over to Lum. Uh, it's 18 days away. And we'll travel over there today. Um, see if we can uh, work on getting rid of some of the wolf. Uh, ooh, we could ally with Jade Falcon now. That would be kind of cool. Um, but once again, if we ally with Jade Falcon... Can only get uh, access to Falcon store. Uh, do we want to do that? And then go check out the storage aid and on Ironhold. Probably we'll probably do that today. Here's our financial report coming up. It's going to start getting expensive now. We've got uh, two new mechs. I've got the financial report. Yeah. It's all right. We need to start generating sea bills here. So since we've been ha basically hitting single planets, it's been more and more difficult to try and get uh, um, our sea bills up and running. Since we jump back and forth a lot, it's uh, hard to stay on one planet and just get a lot of uh, stuff earned. Let's throw our par let's throw our party. All right. Uh, a lot of good clan stuff here. Ultra AC ammo or Ultra AC twenty. Wow, a lot of stuff here. Enhanced imaging, exchangers, feral lamellar. Wow. Heat sink cooling pod. We're out of these, right? Um, we got the sea bills. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, that's what we really want. It's a lot of sea bills, though. I'm not going to spend the time selling that right now. Uh, maybe we'll stay here for a bit. Let's have a look at the contracts here. Should be a lot we can do, though. Well, I hope there's a lot we can do. Noisy neighbors, we should be able to handle no problem. Oh yeah, tons here. Nice, even done even done a one and a half skull for our second lance. Hostile insertion. Snow Raven dropship. Jade Falcon base on Lum attacked by raiders. That's a defend base. Noisy neighbors should be able to do noisy neighbors without too much of a problem. That's local government. Uh, fireworks. Target acquisition. Yeah, thank you. No. Incomplete intelligence. Against Clan Wolf. Destroy base. Let's start with this one. Just get in and get this done. Should be no problem. Alright, let's deploy. Command interface initiated. Okay. All right, we know this one. Let's smash these guys and get out of here and go home. What if they got turrets up? Yep, they sure do. And let's toast this turret. Huh. Commander. She should be able to easily finish it up. You got that right. Waiting for orders. It's getting close. No shooting, just running. Got it. Shadowhawk, huh? 
wonder if it's a 2C. Probably, if it's Wolf. Waiting for orders. Problem with like going through the spores is that damage on us gets increased by 20%. Makes us harder to hit, but they can still, when they do hit, they hit for a lot more damage. Okay, we got Hunchback 2C, Joust, Shadowhawk 2C, Epona, Standard Turret, Standard Turret. Let's maybe kill this guy 275, eh? I don't think we'll kill him. Uh, let's not use the Whirler on this turret, but let's try and get rid of it. Good start. Mooche. Do this. Just don't want to waste the AC twenty rounds on that turret. Yep. Uh nope. Yep. See if we can kill this guy. Yep. Perfect. One less turret. God, I can't go through the sports, so but I'm gonna go after that guy. Well, yeah, we don't have the same invasion we had before, but... Oh, it's all lasers, okay. I was worried it was the Ultra 20s. Okay, what are they doing now? He's already gone. We got these three vehicles still, and one turret. It's nice to be able to remove three of the four turrets at the start. They're rel relatively easy kills too. Come on guys. I thought you already moved. We're just that fast. Forty five tons. I keep forgetting the Shadowhawk two C is only forty five tons, not fifty five. This guy doesn't have much armor. Wow, you just put yourself there to die. Okay, Joe's next. Warning. Shit. I wonder what this guy's mounting. That's the interesting thing. Find out in a second here, though. Opponent pursuit tanks gotta go. That's not good. Oh, they got three, uh... Wow. That's not good. Yeah. Ok, 
Can't afford to miss this. Really? We missed one, that's why. Standing by. Acknowledged. Can't let this guy go again. Okay, so he'll go after me. guy's got to go still. Can we kill this guy? Probably if we torso him. This guy hammers me with a lot of stuff. Let's find out what he's going to do. Not much I can do other than just sit here and die. Wow, okay. Warning. Armor low. All right, buddy, where are you moving to? Here it comes. Roger. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not moving next turn, so... Not before us, anyway. All the vultures. Warning. Armor All right, let's figure out what we're doing. Sorry, I, I actually just went down for dinner. It's been a little bit since I've been back. Uh, right, no leg, no arm. Um, I'll make sure our right side is shielded. I think we go this way. How about over? And let's take out this guy's torso. Hopefully. Firing. Damn it. Oh, we got it. Ah, oh, we're losing sound. I apologize for the uh, wackiness and sound all of a sudden. Like I said, I was downstairs for a bit. Commander. Okay, we got to get the heat off him. Uh, okay. This guy. Can we take him out? 180, eh? It's doubtful. But I think we should put some pressure on him anyway. So let's fire. Okay, not a bad start. Um, I think we need to move. Yeah, let's just fire this guy's rear. 
Okay, that guy's gone. Wow, it's weird just hearing the sound effects. Can you get... Something like that. 57, huh? Let's go after this vehicle. Maybe we can force him to move away, maybe? Ooh, that's a nice side hit. Yeah. Now this guy... Whole left side's gone. Yeesh. Guess we should probably stay in the trees. Okay. 99. See if we can't take this other torso. And firing. Nicely done. Wow, the sound is like totally different all of a sudden. Well, to be fair, I was downstairs for about mm, three hours or so. Close to three hours. My wife and I actually got into a, watching a, the last of season two of... Uh, uh, the new Star Trek Discovery series. This guy hasn't shot yet, so let's fire on him. Can we get to the... F Front is up here. Let's do this. See if we can take him out. Fire. Yep. Nicely done. It's going to take a lot more than that guy did to try and kill a mockingbird. Bah ha ha ha. Okay, and fire. Eh. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? What I'm interested in is what the how much the map has changed in three hours. God, this guy's Okay, so how much armor has this guy got left? That's the far side. Let's move over here. And we're going to do a multi-target. Oh, we're not going to do a multi. Yes, we are. Let's do a multi. And go this route. Oh, figures. Okay. Start in the turret. I think that's okay. Hammer this guy. That should do it. Nope, that shouldn't do it. Really? <sighs> Shh. 
He should, however, kill this guy. Yep. And then Griff can hopefully kill this vehicle. After he goes, apparently. God, he's got, like, nothing left here. All right, where are you going? Ooh. Shooting tag at me, huh? confirm this. Let's make sure we get this. Nice. Well, this was lousily played. I gotta say that. Incredibly lousily played on my part. Double time. 200, huh? Done. Easily be able to kill this one. Huh. <laughs> sound is so ridiculous. Don't even need to move. There we go. All right, let's get out of this mission. Well, there's the sound back, 135. It's not gonna cover our repairs. That was really sloppily played on my part. Really sloppily played. Okay, two Cs. Uh, Let's look to see bills. How many of these we got? We got one left over. Uh, heat sink kit clans. That'll be cash. Mass clan. We don't have any. Let's put another one in there. Just so we have it. ATMs. Um, let's see here. Case 2. We've got case 2, right? We've got two of them. Don't need just regular armor. We lost two medium pulses. Should I take one? We got 11, we don't need them. ATM nine, we've got four of these guys. Uh, maybe I take two mech parts? Enhanced imaging, still got one. But you know what, we might need two because we've got two new mechs. So let's grab that and then yeah, let's grab the Shadowhawk part, because we've already got parts of that. We might get more. It'd be nice if we got five more, but uh, probably not. Let's just roll the dice, see what we get. Okay, Hunchback 2C part, four Shadowhawk parts. That's nice. ATM 9, ERPPC, Shriek 2, Tag, Armor. So everything with the exception of this heat sink is all usable stuff. Okay, that's kind of really nice. Yeah, so a lot of things went on. I'm almost afraid to look at the map. Yeah, 320,000. It's a good thing we picked up that XL engine we can sell. God. That was me being totally stupid on that mission. Uh, let's get the Storm Crow up to number one. Uh, let's have a look at the map now. It's been three hours, like I said, since we started this episode. I thought I'd have enough time to work on it, but... I did not. So not much has changed. It's pretty much still the same. Well, this planet flipped. This planet's now 100%, still 100% Falcon. Or it wasn't before when we started, but this one's being slowly flipped. That's nice. That's what, five skull? Four and a half? That's a possibility. It's nice to see Falcon doing so well. Who do we got on here? Just want to see if our... Uh, yeah, if you guys have, if you guys are playing clans, let me know what your uh, your uh, company name is. 
Because if I see you on, I'll put a shout out. I don't see uh, Ace Guards. So, yeah. Check here. Nope. Yeah, still, uh, things are still going well for Falcon, all right. That's uh, kind of shocking. Uh, Roar stuff 17 days. This is 19 days. This is 21. 18. 18. Yeah, they still got long journeys. We're probably going to take another mission here. So we got more contracts we can take. Uh, yeah, a lot more. So let's do that. Let's get fixed up here rather than leaving. Uh, let's go to the store though first and sell some stuff. Uh, I think what we're going to do is probably ally, ally ourselves with Jade Falcon. So let's go to uh, rep. If for whatever reason it's not working out for us, we can always break alliance and then just rebuild our rep again. So let's ally with Falcon. Yes, we're fine with this. Nice. All right. So let's go to the store. We have to go to the home world apparently to access our faction store, but that's fine. So uh, lots of good stuff sitting around here. There were some things that we wanted, but we got to sell stuff first. So the way things are going, we shouldn't sell any mechs. That's for damn sure. Let's sell all the non-clan stuff. Just because we are clan and not inner sphere, let's just use clan gear. Got a whole nother series with inner sphere stuff if you want to check that out. Uh, I don't think we need this many narc launchers. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need this. Starting to generate some currency here. Well, those were 80 grand each, eh? TSM Cannon, I know it's not really uh, clan tech, but I'm hanging on to it because we might use it in the future. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Possibility. Don't think we need this many armored cows. Just sell two of them. Uh, what else do we got here? Regular XL engines. Clan XLs. We're just going to sell one because we're probably going to need two for the other mechs that we have. And I think we'll leave it there. The rest of the stuff, well, regular heat sinks if we can find them. Heat sink, one. All right, that should be enough for now. We got lots. We got uh, double heat sink kit clans so that we could sell if we had to. Actually, let's just sell one. Keep one for replacement, keep one for backup, and then two for the other, the two new mechs that we got. I think we'll do that. Actually, you know what? We can sell two then. Right? Because we want to have one just kicking around just in case we need it. All right. So that's good. Uh, so let's go to grab one more contract, I think. Uh, once we get everything fixed up, we're probably going to take Hostile Insertion, Snow Raven. I think we should go against clans. So maybe, against, maybe we'll take this one against Snow Raven. We'll have to be a lot more careful than we have been in the past. Uh, so let's get this going. Stormcrow's going to need a bunch of repairs once it comes back. But Grip's got to be going to be up for a bit anyway. So let's have a look. So we lost the weapon mount, which is a huge deal. Uh, so let's refit this guy. Double heat sink clan, which we can easily replace. So let's do that first. And we don't have any weapon mounts at all, which really sucks. Go with the lower arm and two medium pulses to put them back in. We're going to have a little bit of extra weight left over. It's funny how that doesn't replace them, it just uh, adds them because we've got so much. We've got a whole ton left over because the arm mount's gone. So I'm thinking. Gonna drop a heat sink in. Well, we got the heat sink cooling pod now. Let's 
probably better than a heat sink. Right? Probably end up being a lot better. Um, I wonder. We well, I'm not going to bother. If we put the e cooling system plus two in, um, the issue with that is it's going to take time. I don't want to add extra time unless we absolutely have to. So half. What can we drop in for a half ton? I mean, we can put regular case in here. Or clan case, right? That's... But heavy ferrule's not clan armor, is it? No. Okay, well, we can put it in the arm. Well, we can't. What? Oh, we can't put regular case in the arm? Really? Really? Let's do this. Okay. Uh, how much is it to put the e-cooling plus two in here? Yeah, it's a fair... It's a big difference, 90,000. So I'm not going to bother. We'll leave it like this. Alright, let's confirm this. One day. Back to kind of where we were. I think we can get the adder quickly fixed too, so let's do that. Might as well. While well, we're here. And I haven't really thought about uh, layouts for our uh, two new 55 tonners yet, so we'll leave them for now. So let's do this. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should add... Right. Well, we'll do that at the end of the episode. We'll do another mission. Depending on how long it is, we'll come back and we'll refit these guys. See what we can do. Because um, that'll give our second lance some needed firepower. We can take so take it like missions like the last one we had won't be so bad. So let's go um, and take the hostile insertion mission. Battle in the jungle against Snow Raven. Full salvage. Three and a half skulls is kind of where we're at here with these guys. So, oh, Griff is still out. Really? We've got one more day. Is that what it is? Oh right, I didn't advance the timeline. Dur. Okay, now we can do this. Okay, hostile insertion. Noisy neighbors is two and nine. This is defend base will take a while. Fireworks, yeah. So let's go with this one. All right, there we go. Let's deploy and get this done. All right. Keep our head up, keep our stick on the ice, don't get beat. Okay, if they got reinforcements, they're coming from this way, so we're going to head over to the left here and move up. Ready for all. Stick together this time, let's not split up. Moving Griff the way I did last time was a bad choice. We should have just moved him when uh, everybody else uh, could have moved with him. Yeah, here in vehicles on the left here, or the right, sorry. Exit, stage left. Um, let's get into here. Picking up targets, what do we got? Huntsman, a Nova, Shadowhawk, and a Huntsman. Okay, not bad. What do you need? I need us all to stick together, so let's get up here. Because when we crest this hill, I want to mech down. Standing by. Ten four. I don't know whether 
they just couldn't see us or they decided not to see us. But we're going to sweep from left to right here. You're in the open. But you can do a lot of damage. And so can you, it looks like. Nope. Not you. This guy. All weapons going down. Going down. See if you can make a wreck of this Huntsman. Let's go. I'm going to switch targets only because I don't want to over hit this guy. I want to use my other two mechs with the la pinpoint lasers to kind of go after him. With the least damage rather than getting killed with a couple of hundreds. Welcome that guy to the fight. Get some range. On my way. Double time. Or some distance, I guess, the better way to say it is. Let's warlord this, go after this guy and the leg, and fire. All weapons, fire. Not quite enough. I think we hit it twice, though. Darius. STFU. Let's not overdo it. Nicely done. Well, I know one on one guy gone and I got it. We've got an unknown on sensors. Okay, so this feels more like a three and a half skull to me, although I'm used to f encountering heavy mechs in a three and a half skull, Stormcrow on this side. It's still better. It still feels better now. So I think going up from regular, t like a normal to hard was a good choice. I mean, it wasn't that, this isn't that much, well, it is kind of that much harder. We haven't been getting any really crappy enemy forces. I mean, how we've lost like three mechs in the past like three episodes, so. It's nice though, it makes it more interesting this way. Where are you going, buddy? Ooh. He's a hot dog, that one. Well, let's see if we can blow this guy's leg off. Not quite, but a good start. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay, Kit Fox. Waiting for orders. Let's get the murderous in here. Rolling. How much is left there? Not much. Let's take it. Nicely done. That hit something good. Sure did. Let's 
So I don't know if it's they got two, these two plus two vehicles or what they got back there. Shadowhawk's trying to figure out what to do now. Oh, he's coming for the melee. Thirty-four is a waste of time, buddy. Ooh. So they got the micro lasers on you. Yeah. Going full throttle. What's up, buddy? Ooh. Nice shooting. Get down here on this guy and the other leg, please. And firing. How do we do? Not that good. Couple of mediums. Yep, you keep lobbing missiles. We're good with that. Uh huh? Thanks for coming out. Okay, what are you doing? Ooh, that was a head hit, guys. Shot me right in the face. I mean, we can't blame the guy. But damn. Guess daddy's got to stay at long range now, huh? Oof. Commander? This guy's going at 25. So are we, so it's either one or... Yep, it's gonna be you. I think we'll get it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we all go before this other huntsman. Confirm. See if we can pull this guy's leg off. Damn it. Well. Gonna do it. I need this guy. What? Let's see if we get it. All right, we're here now. Target neutralized. Well, we didn't get his head, but that's fine. Just for now. That guy's the next guy to go. Wow. Barely hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. 
Okay, let's pull off this leg first and fire. Ah, uh, not bad. Let's target the other leg. Sure. Target the left, shoot the right off. Why not? Because that's just how we roll. It's just how we roll. See if we get the leg. That was a leg hit. All right. It's usually not the first thing you want to use for pinpoint damage, that uh, Ultra 20, but we'll take it. Now, these guys have to move up. Mars Assault Vehicle, eh? We've had a bad track record with those guys. Ah. Well, he's moved out to get killed. That's good. First target. I think we'll take this hill. I think we'll go that way. Um, actually, let's sprint up here. Oof. Well, we're going to fire. Something came off him. Didn't hear him fall. I don't know if it was a leg or not. Not going to waste the uh, warlord on this guy. So much for your scout. I copy. Standing by. Let's get all our stealth units, Roger, our stealth systems to mix together here. So at least their bonuses kind of stack a little bit. There are two Mars Assault vehicles? Of course there is, because why wouldn't there be? I think we go after the storm crow. Yes, Commander. No shooting, just running. Got it. Ready for orders. Roger. Yeah, that storm crow might stick his head out and we just take it right off. See what he does here. Didn't stick it out, but he moved far enough that it seems like it's stuck out. Uh, let's just maximize mech salvage on this one, because why not? Don't go too far. Don't go too far. You're having a hard time hitting where you should be. That hit something. 
something good. Badass. All this trying to shoot his leg, we can't even get it. Uh... Me know how to shoot good. They've got a sensor lock on me. Orders. Well, at least you knocked him down. Don't have to use anywhere near as much resolve now. Oof. Uh... Oh, you got both the legs. Nice! You're a killer, girl. You're a killer. Roger. See all those damn spores. Now, can we all? We all cannot. Gonna be an extra turn. Receiving you. Heading out. Waiting for orders. No, not through the spores, please. Don't want that extra twenty percent damage, thank you. Make sure we're in the trees. Waiting for orders. All right, let's give this a start. It's a lot of missiles. Little different. Shoot this guy. Now nah, do we hit the same spot? We did. Standing by. Let's make sure we get him. Actually, that's multi-target. Heavy to B, everything else to A. Roger that. Okay, nice start. Ah, it was a side hit. Standing by. Copy that command. It's just because my head is hurt. Went right through the spore cloud anyway. They really need to work on pathing. All right, firing. Don't think we got the juice. Little less on the side. Fifty one per cent, fifty nine per cent. Let's try a side. Maybe we kill it. Oh, that might have done it. 
Nope. Of course it hasn't. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Wow. That could have been so much worse. Alright, it's the other, it's the side over here. Oops, a little too far right there. Alright, finish him up, girl. We can go home. Alright, let's go home. Okay, 95,000. Yeah, that was damn close. That head hit. Oof. DNI compic was slightly damaged. We can fix that. Don't think we took any other damage. Just another key reminder that any head hit just could take any of our pilots out in an instant. Well, with the exception of Griff, of course, because he can't die. He's immortal. Okay, Huntsman parts. Lots of Huntsman Look at this. Look at the mech parts. Yeah, man. Alright, let's see what we can grab here. Large heavy lasers? LB 10Xs? LRM 15s? I've only got two of these. I should probably grab two more. I think we're going to need to build another missile build at some point. Uh, medium heavy lasers, ER pulse slays. Look at this. Look at the look. We could just take three Klein XL engines, go for the C bills, and then we'd have tons of money for the rebuilds. I think we do that. Um, because we got to put XL's engines in both of those Griffin, the Griffin and the uh. The Strix, and that's going to cost us like at least a mil and a half, or maybe almost two mil. Watchdog Suite, I'd like to have that too, but... Alright, let's just choose this. I know, it's letting all, all, this other, all the other good stuff go, but... Wow, that would have, was a really bad roll. One Nova part, eh? Okay... 59,000 repairs. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, let's fix those two mechs up. Okay, so, uh, store. Quickly sell those XL engines that we picked up. And. Better to go here. It's just faster. Right? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Dur. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, so. Seven million. We're going to jump back to um, Ironhold just so that we can check out what we can get. And I think we're going to start on. Hmm. I think we're going to go with this. 20 days to get it done, plus one tech points. And uh, travel time reduced by 30% to jump points. Let's purchase this. It's going to save us a lot of sea bills and get us into a lot of action in here. Uh, so let's go uh, and fix the mechs up. Start to fix the mechs up first anyway. So. Dun dun dun. Strix. Alright. Let's do... Engines. What do we want for engine? 275 around there somewhere? 280? Huh. <laughs> 280 gives us 610. 275 gives us 610. This is 19, this is what, 18 and a half? Yeah, that's fine. 18 and a half is good enough. We need a clan double heatsink kit. 
and we need to add the XL engine. Watch the price go up. So it's 100,000, 1.4. So it's only 1.3 million. Not bad. Not bad. Taking the, these pirate things out. Let's remove the TSMs for now. Because I think we're probably going to be adding a mask to this guy, most likely. Um, okay, so next thing is cockpit systems. So we have two, uh, where are you here? Enhanced imaging. Let's start with one of those. Um, now this guy's got tons of points, like tons of hard points. I mean, we really should, and I hate to say this because I know we were been trying not to do this. This guy really should have been a melee mech with a combat shield and everything. But I'm, I, I'm probably in, going to intend to make this guy a frontline tanky mech. So maybe we're going to go with a ballistic build. Um, surveillance cockpit is pretty much the whole thing, right? Accuracy, minus one recoil, plus two maximum evasion pips. Plus four initiative. Where does that go? Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Minus two initiative, though. Oh, it's sensor sight, base sight distance. Yeah, that's not what we want. Actually, maybe we put a command console in this guy. Or we put it in the Griffin, maybe. Like, if this guy's going to be our, our close-in tank... Well, you know what? This would be the right guy to do it in, because of the combat shield, minus 25% damage taken. Like, if we go with the command console... The initiative, plus two initiative for all lance units, 100 base sight distance, plus two lance accuracy with indirect fire. Increased resolve gain for all lance members, share sensor information. Two injuries resisted. I think we go this route. Let's try this. We haven't used the command console yet, so let's get in there and use it. Uh, gyro wise, we're going to make this, this guy a really, really tanky build, so... Uh, where are our gyros? We can go with XL or... Oh, we're going to go with the defensive gyro. Give us some more evasion. Actually, I think the Griffin's going to be a, the super fast moving mech. Well, I think this guy needs to be in battle closer than more than the Griffin. The Griffin could be the missile mech, I think. So we could go this route. Already starting to lose our tonnage here, but we got some more lighter things that we can put in. Uh, or start to lighten the load a little bit. Hand. That shield's on this arm, so not much can go in there. Okay, uh, let's just get... Yeah, we got lots of clan endo, so let's use clan endo. And clan pharaoh. So we got a bit more weight. Um, armor needs to be maxed, I think. And we can just lose a couple points off CT back, it's fine. Okay, so, weapons now. What do we want to use here? Uh, Ballistic-wise, we could go with an Ultra build. Or we could go with a Rack 5 build. But if we're planning on being close in, like we've got, we do have a Rack 5. Do we not? Rotary 5 Clan, yeah. So that's three recoil. If you don't have any recoil compensators, that's the problem. Maybe this has to be a laser build then. We generally want to have recoil compensators to deal with this, and we don't have them right now. Let's think about this for a second. We want to use this guy to close. It's got to have some punchy weapons. The other thing is a missile build. Or we go both. A split of split missile laser. Go with the SRMs because we'll be closer. Or even ATMs. Because of the bonus to hit. Because we got a lot of big ATMs here. Now do we have ATM ammo? That's the question. We do, yes. We, I know we do. We started off with ATM. So we got dead fire. Well, HE ammo. 
extend our range, which we don't really need, and then just regular ammo. So we could go with an ATM build. We've got, what, 20, no, 17 tons left. Not very much. So ATMs, what do we got weight here? 12 shots is what, 7 tons? 9 shots is 5. 3 shots is what, 1.5. So we're better going with two nines and two threes rather than two twelves. So this is what, 6 tons is 3.5. Yeah, so it's the nines and threes give us better weight. We could go with a pair of nines. That's ten tons that would give us seven left over. Like if we make these guys the main the main weapons. Pair of nines. It's eighteen rounds, striking doing eight each. Well, with H E. It's going to do 12 each. We got the arrow. What do you think, guys? Is it time to employ the arrow system? Recoil at 3. It's probably not a good idea. Not quite ready for that yet, I guess, eh? Almost. Almost ready for that, guys. Alright, so 9, 18 shots. Uh, where's the ATM? I'm up here. How many rounds per 60, eh? Jesus Christ, that's it? Maybe we go with a 9 and a 3. I have to carry a lot of ammo. So a 9 and a 3 is 12. Each missile doing 12 damage each. Times 100, that's 144 for 6.5 tons. And we need at least 2 HE and 2 regular. Yeah, it's pretty good damage for the weight. So this is 5... 10 turns and we need the range weapon so 510 um, got clan pharaoh so we can put clan case in where are you I think we need to put at least a regular ECM in uh, I was actually thinking about putting this in too Resistance against energy-based attacks, but we've got the minus one accuracy with range weapons, right? Plus nine heat per turn. Uh, where is the case? Okay, that's that. Now we got five tons left over. Super cool. Um, Yeah. I'd love to just put like another heavy weapon in here, but the heat would just kill us and then we'd have no weight left. So I mean, because we could go this route and an exchanger, which we've got right here. Sixty six fifty eight. Without it, it's what? Yeah, we need it. We definitely need to have it in, or at least one more heat sink. Like if we just drop a heat sink in. Still not so good. Because the mask too, right? The mask is going to be generating heat. So... Uh, exchanger needs, definitely has to go in. Okay. 
this does not seem that great of a build but if this guy is really like a close in close in close in brawler slash command mech like i mean if we just maybe we're going about this the wrong way maybe this guy should just be the lrm boat just stand back take the mask out take the mask out Guardian, we should have left the, clay, the uh, case in. Because he won't need to move very much, right? So if we go, we take this out. Um, and go with the XL gyro instead. That gives us a ton and a half, which is the same as the Pharaoh. We need the Pharaoh because we need to put case in here for sure for ammo. So let's have a look at the weapon systems, missile wise. LRMs, 15s are the best damage per weight category. Three and a half tons each. Fifteen, fifteen. 10 10 still got lots of weight that's 50 shots per that's 50 shots per do we have MMLs? I think I got rid of them all yeah. Uh, Fifteens are still the best bet. Hmm. Oops. Could mix it up. So if we do that, let's say, equipment. So it's an LRM 30. Yeah, maybe. LRM 30 AT, ATM 9, and we go with um, need to have a warfare suite. Where's the clan case here? Need to definitely have that. Then ammo wise, we'd have to have a good mix of. ATM ammo. This would be six turns for close range and six turns for long range. And then for LRMs, can't use Artemis ammo because we don't have an Artemis system to install. We have uh, follow the leader missiles. We've got LK, that's plus one accuracy, so let's drop that, and that's four turns of plus one. And then I guess, like that. Short a, turn, a ton here. Well, we pull out the ATM-6. Still looks like it's lacking a lot of firepower. I 
Like we could put we could pull out the ATM three and put it in a six instead. That would be perfect weight. Or if we pull out the three, we can put an LRM ten in, and it would be an LRM forty ATM six. No way we can squeak any extra weight out of this, eh? Patchwork materials, we barely have enough. We got 1.75 tons, which really isn't very much. I think we don't, it's either one or the other. It's either an LRM build or it's an ATM build. I think it's one or the other. I think we need to go LRM too. So if we do, we go our LRM 50. Still not going to give us enough ammo though. Right? It's not going to give us enough ammo. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, well 10. Um, 12 turns of firing at 50 rounds. The other thing is, is that we can we can lower the core slightly too, right? Make sure you go see Attack of the Polymorph Code of Mana. I hear it's a great film. This is 10 tons. It's only saving one though. Well, still one one extra ton. Hmm. Which means we can go from a 15 to a 20 in the arm. It's not giving us much though. God, this is a tough, tough choice here. Although we could do a split build again with something different. Six twelve and a bit. No, four eight twelve turns. That's twelve turns right there. And if we're hanging back, we could go with an ERPPC. Ah, oh, God, it's such a hard choice here. Large pulses. Well, we need range. Gaggles of ER mediums, even. Medium pulses. I'm having a hard time here. If we do that, because medium pulses still have good range, we could do that, bring an exchanger in. Right, double heat sink. Not bad. Put in the four triple strength Myomars. Where's the other one down here? 
give us a little bit of extra speed now that we drop the core a little bit. I mean, it's not—it's only like another eight percent sprint. What's our speed here? Still six ten. Um, gives us half a ton for staying at range. Actually. Let's do this instead. Bring this in. And then let's do another heat sink. Right? Not bad. 0.25 of a ton left. So, yeah, what? I can't do too much. I mean, we can crank the armor in the back to max. Or we could go down. Something like that. And then we can put... We have, like, ER smalls. It's a half a ton. As a backup weapon. Oh, we don't have any. <laughs> we don't have any free slots. That figures. Ah. Oh. All right. Armor it is. Good enough. Let's confirm this guy. 18 days, almost two million C bills. There's the first one. All right, Griffin. This guy could be a total energy build. 275 engine will stay. Heat sink can come out. Max armor. Uh, start off with Clan Feral. Let's start off with Clan Endo. Let's start off with the defensive gyro for good defense. We're going to need a mask for sure for speed. Uh, probably going to put the TTS weapons in this guy. But we need a clan cockpit, right? Right. Don't know if we'll be able to do that then. Uh, we need an XL. Where's the XL? Um, get it faster this way. There we go. Clan XL engine. 1.3 million now. Double heatsink kit. Drop that in. Uh, we're going to go with laser builds. We need arms here. Hand. Drop it in here. Uh, so that's all the CT done. Uh, engine core's got plus one slot, so we could probably just drop in the, uh, we're at, we got plus two E-cooling in the center. Okay, no big deal. Uh, weapons. Now, we gotta decide weapon-wise what we want to do with this guy. So, we could go, it's really just a laser build, laser missile build. We've only got a few hard points, so it's easy to choose what we're gonna do here, I think. Easier, that is. So I think we're going to go with the medium pulse ATM build. We want the accuracy for this lance. And then, oops, weapons. Got lots of weight. So if we go ATM 9. Three and three. Equipment. Clan case two, and we need ammo. Uh, God, the ammo should really be here. One of the things I hate about having all the hard points on one side, if, if you got ammo weapons, where do you keep your ammo? We could go with streaks instead. That's the other option. Yeah, 
Yeah, streaks are streaks are actually pretty good too. A pair of sixes and a four. Then we'll have plenty of space here for ammo. Uh, we don't need as much ammo. That's what, 10, 16. So two tons would be plenty. Right? Now he's got to worry about heat efficiency. Out of exchangers. It's all going to come down to putting in... Uh, we could put the proto heat sink kit in. But then we've only got one... Actually, we don't have any proper heat sinks, so it's not going to work at all. It's going to have to just be double heat sinks. We're almost out of space, too. Well, not that bad, I guess. Three, four, five, six. Ten heat each. Is it really that bad? These are seventeen. These are what? Eighteen or twenty? Twenty-one? Hmm. This is really an accuracy build, so we really need to stay with the accuracy. It's actually pretty good. Something like that. The mask might become optional, we might pull it out. Um, all right, we need cockpits and stuff now too. So let's get this guy in here. Uh, what else? We don't really have anything else. Well, we could go with the plus energy. Or we do have the Rainmaker, which is 15% less heat generation from missile fire. That's a potential bonus too. This gives us range though on our 10% uh, increased range on our pulse lasers though. And more accuracy. But they're already pretty accurate. That's for indirect fire. So maybe we do this. That'll help our heating out a fair bit. Changed a little bit there. Yeah, that'll help our heating a bit. We'll see how this mech does heat-wise. And we'll adjust from there. Alright, let's do this. Okay, come on. There we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, if you'd like to drop a like, we're going to head... Actually, you know what? Before we finish up today, we're going to jump over to see what we can get in the clan store. Let's go to Ironhold. Got to fix our mechs anyway, so let's head over there. 19 days. Setting course. So it's a good thing we picked up those triple XL engines because we spent all of that on fixing our mechs up. Yeah, just stay out of his way, man. I've got the finance. Stay out of his way. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. So next episode, we will get our new mechs into service. Um, not sure about that white now. He's not very fast. So we may have to change the build on him a little bit. Get some speed into that guy. With the Jenner gone, he's no doesn't long, no longer has to hang around and to uh, keep the, his eye on the Jenner. So Looks like we've arrived, Commander. we can up his engine and stuff. Figure out a new build for him. All right, let's see what's in the store. Hey, it's supposed to be my home world. Where's the? Uh, Why am I not getting, um, does this consider, this considered the clan store, I guess? Maybe because all the, uh, the clan weapons are in here? I don't know. 
Streak LRM20. What the hell is that? What the hell is a Streak 20? Okay, I'm buying this. It's only 255,000. If we can get ammo for it, great, but it's kind of cool that it won't fire unless it's uh, going to hit its target. Um, that's actually useful too. Because if we want to use that targeting computer, we need to have this, we need to have the clan uh, thing installed, so let's buy that. We can easily make more cash. Fire control system improved. Heat sink cooling pod, yes please. Where was that a few minutes ago? Uh, oh yeah, this is one of the things we want. LRM and Cindery. Yeah, they don't have any uh, streak LRM ammo. Hmm. Half incendiary ammo, eh? Do we have any of this? Don't have any. Let's just buy one. New equipment available. It's one of those things that we might use in the future. Ultra 2, Ultra 10 ammo. We got 6. Yeah, we're sitting okay for ammo, I think. This is really what we want here. But unfortunately, can't get that just right yet. It's really, really nice. But, and it's really, like, the weight is perfect for this thing. Better than the Watchdog Suite, for sure. All right, we're going to leave the episode there, guys. We're down to a million C-bills already. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like in the like. Uh, <laughs> drop, a, drop a like down below. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.